Welcome all of you. Today we are going to see about how to enroll Swayam MOOC courses. Myself, Dr. S. Shubha, Librarian, Sita Lakshmi Ramaswamy College, Trichirapalli. What is Swayam? Swayam stands for Study Webs of Active Learning for Young Aspiring Minds. This is India's MOOC. MOOC in which means Massive Open Online Course. It was established by Ministry of Human Resource Development launched on 15th August 2016 by the President Sri Pranap Mukherjee. What is the need for Swayam? So in India where there is a shortage of qualified faculty and resource crunch. In setting up a physical infrastructure to reach out the learners at mass scale. So MOOC seems to be a viable solution. However, Instead of emulating the western world, we need to design a solution that suits best with the country's pressing need to impart the quality mass education. Swayam is one of the pillars of the Digital India Initiative. So the Swayam seeks to bridge the digital divide for the learners. So the main aim of Swayam is to untouched by the digital revolution and have not been able to join the mainstream of the knowledge economy. Swayam initiatives or digital platform it which gives open access to information anywhere at any time and 20% credit weightage for students those who are all joining and getting certificate opting the courses in Swayam and access to the best of knowledge and best of teachers. 10,075 courses are being offered by 9 national coordinators in Swayam. Around 3 crore 36 lakh 63,759 users are enrolled on the Swayam platform and 19 lakh 85,196 users are benefited and successfully completed the courses. 60 MOOCs of UGC are being offered on Swayam. So these are all the initiatives are given by Swayam platform. The following elements for the overall Swayam courses, syllabus template, pre and post course surveys, course overview, course timeline, list of announcements and instructions and synchronous and asynchronous engagements. In this MOOC is having two category, one is X MOOC and another one is C MOOC. So this category of massive will give you a different types of learning. We can see one by one. There are different methodologies of Swayam while we are using the Swayam platform. This platform will give you a video lectures, reading material, online discussion forum, self assessment also. So these steps have to be to enrich the learning experience by using audio, video and multimedia and the state of art of pedagogy. The listed nine national coordinators offer the Swayam courses to the learners. Courses delivered through Swayam based on four categories. It may be on school of education or undergraduate education postgraduate education, out of school education. It's all based on the category which you are, you can take the Swayam courses. Now, we are going to register in Swayam platform. So first you can type in the URL swayam.gov.in In this Swayam web page is looking like this. So the learners category and for faculty categories are also available in this portal. You can select which one you want. In the home page, they can mention the national coordinators, those who are all offer the courses and uh, you can take your results from this home page itself and you can submit your credits transfer guidelines through this web page. Now we are going to see how to register in Swayam web page. You can click the home button and in that downstairs, they can mention in the sign up now. So once you, you are the new user, you can click the sign up now button. 
After clicking sign up, they can ask you the personal data like your name, your date of birth, password, which one you want. It must be in one upper case and lower case and a digit and symbol. So after you are typing all these informations, they can send the verification code to your registered email ID. So once you can fill all this information, you can click the send verification code button. Automatically, they can send the code to your registered mail ID. Immediately, you can receive a verification email from this YM ID. So you can see your verification code is there. You can type that code in that particular column. After completion of your verification process, you can save your password and click the create button. Now you are having the register ID. Once you registered your entire process, then you can click in the sign in button. Now you can type your username and password. So in that column, they are mentioned that if you are a student or faculty. So if you are a student, then you can log in into the student portal. If once you create your user ID password, then you can log in. In that right corner, you can see your mail ID. So this is a page for you to know your courses and your certifications and sign out options is there in the right corner, top corner. So you can easily acquire skills that you meet your needs. If once you log in, this is your home page in Swayam. In this Swayam home page will helps you to sort by the course title or otherwise the duration of the course. So here you can select based on the course title or otherwise the duration of the course. Here the Swayam platform will give you two options. One is upcoming courses. So what are all the courses are going to handle for the upcoming days? And one more is ongoing courses. Already what are all the courses is going on? So you can select whichever course you want. If you want to learn in the sense you can see the ongoing courses or otherwise you can go and get a certificate in which means you can see the upcoming courses. So you can select which one you want. Now I want to learn some information related to animations. But the course enrollment is closed. But I want to learn. I don't get any certificates. In which means I just prefer to click the ongoing enrollment closed certificate courses. I am just to search and get this information. I am directly logging and enrolled to the course. Just learn the information whatever they can mention. So in this YM course filter option is also there. So you can select which national coordinator course if you want to take and you can select like if you want to take a course was conducted by UGC in the sense you can click the filter option and then uh, you can scroll down uh, the list of uh, national coordinators then you can click the UGC what are the courses are handled by UGC it will be shown in your display and also in this YM you are having an option like course mode like if you want to learn only in the sense you can select the self paced or otherwise you can select the regular course mode. In this filter is providing you a, a course duration option also. So in this course duration will shows you it's a kind of 4 week course or 8 week or 12 week 16 week course. Based on your time requirements you can select which kind of course if you want. Simultaneously you can study 2 courses or 3 courses in Swayam platform. So they can give you an option like you can select your course examination date like you are going to write your course 1 examination on September 23rd and you are going to write your course 2 examination on October 1st week. So you can select which one you want based on your preference and if you are a regular college students you can learn some information through Swayam platform in self paced mode and also if you want to get a certificate. In that certificates, it can be transferred based on your credit transfers. So once you complete your course, you can share your marks based on the credit transfer. So just you can click the credit transfer option in yes. Here you can easily select your course category, which course you want to select. Or otherwise, if you want to know some information related to a particular topic, you can type which kind of topic you want in that course catalog column. Here I want to know some information related to research related topics. So once I just click the research information in that course catalog, 
automatically it shows in the upcoming enrollment and ongoing enrollment data now the list of courses will be shown in your display you can select which course you want to prefer now i just like to know the information related to research methodology so i like this topic once i click the research methodology then automatically it shows in your left corner join option is there so you can click the join button automatically you can join to this course if you want to know the course summary like how many weeks they are going to conduct and which coordinator is going to conduct and offer this program and what is the exam date all this informations are available in the course summary and about the course details are also available in that page once you join into this program you can see the course layout also like what are all the portions they are going to cover in week by week that may informations will be available and who is your course tutor the course by bi tutor bio data is also available you can see the informations and if you are going to write an examination and get the certificate in the sense in this page will help you to accept your certification column now you can click to join the course and fill in the all updated your profile your educational qualification you are a student in which degree all the mandatory informations once you fill then you can update your profile and join the course once you can update your profile and join this course automatically you can get the pop up like thank you for joining this course then you can receive the announcements regularly so if you want get certificate for this particular course in the sense you can click the register for certification column now your exam dashboard will open looking like this now you can select the exam semesters like if you want to write examination maybe in july or december or otherwise january month if you are going to write in the sense you can select which category you want in this exam board we types you your personal informations what are all the informations you are going to fill here it will reflect in your certificates once again you will confirm your personal informations in this uh, portal here i am going to write four different kinds of examinations so i can select which course comes in under the first category and i'll just select the exam date and which course comes under second category and then i select the exam date so you can select simultaneously here they will give you a chance to write your examination nearby your hometown so they will give you a three different uh, exam city centers you can select whichever you want here i select three different exam cities now you can review all the informations if once everything is okay in which means you can click the continue to payment button and you can pay for the examination fee now your course module is looking like in your home page then regularly you can log in into your account you can click the my course button and your different kinds of courses will scroll down which course you want you, you just click the course name i just click the research methodology and go to course in the sense i just go and uh, read the informations what are all given by the research methodology course or otherwise i want to know some information in statistical learning for reliability analysis means i can select this type topic and then click the go to course button the current update will be given there once you cleared your examinations then you can get the certificate so you can click the my certificate option automatically what are all the courses you have completed and you have secured marks all the informations are available in that my certificate column then click download option now you can easily download your certificate once you can see all the announcements and you learn information you can easily sign out from swayam thank you i hope this session will helps you to enroll in swayam platform